Nancy Canelli and IBVM from Chicago, really. But I'm just wanting to express my great gratitude that we're moving toward becoming one. It's such an exciting venture, adventure. In my lifetime, I have just experienced God being with me and with all of us throughout my life. And I can just see that the charism that Mary Ward gave to the church is for all of us around the world. And I see the CJs as a beautiful group of people who are imbued with that spirit and so wonderful and going to carry it on when we're all getting beyond the age where we're able to do much in ministry anymore. So it's a great privilege even to be at this stage witnessing what's happening and looking forward to us becoming one. It'll be wonderful. Becoming one is one of the most exciting experiences I've had in my religious life in the Institute in 39 years. This period of time has given me a period to prepare. I've learned to love the CJ sisters. I had the honor of being at their general congregation and I was there for the historic day when the uh, CJs and IBVMs agreed on this merger. It's the hand of God helping us realize the dream of Mary Ward. And I'm humbled that I was able to be there. Thank you. When I think of becoming one, I go back in my memory to the chapter of 98 in Mauritius. And I remember the wonderful joy we experienced there when the North American branch was joining the Irish branch. But I felt there was something just not complete at that time because we had the great experience of meeting Sister Patricia Harris and Sister MacTilde from the CJs. And I just think uh, at that time of why aren't we all becoming one? So since that time and all the recent studies that have been done and all the collaboration between the two generalists, I feel very encouraged that we're moving forward and I'm very excited about it and just full of hope and joy as I feel that maybe in my lifetime we will realize that we are one and give praise and thanks to God for all that has been. Hi, good morning. I am Kay Foley and I am an IBBM sister living in Western Springs, Illinois. And I just want to go back a little bit in history and call to mind how wonderful a day we all celebrated on September 17, 2003 in Toronto, where three branches of the Institute of Blessed Virgin Mary became two. The North American branch uh, united, reunited with the Irish branch. And the, one of the best parts of it was that the sisters in Phoenix, the Irish sisters, uh, united with us. So at the, on that day, three branches became two. And now a tremendous gift is being offered to us that two can become one. And together we can make this happen. Um, it's such a wonderful idea that we do fulfill Mary Ward's wish of, of all being one. And really, it, it helps out to fulfill Jesus' wish that we all become one. When I think about becoming one, I feel, I feel very energized. I feel joyful. Um, it gives me great hope for our present and future. I feel that whenever I'm with other CJs, with um, in any space with another CJ, I already feel one with with that person. I feel that we're we're coming home to one another, and it's really fulfilling a dream, not just for Mary Ward, but I feel a, a dream that that Jesus has for us in the Gospels. Jesus says. Uh, that they may be one. So it's a beautiful witness to the world to bring to bring our family together. 
uh, to, to be one internationally, interculturally, uh, there's just so much potential for new life. There's potential for, for of course, for new growth. But I, I really feel that it's, it's responding to the call that we have from God. It's much bigger than us. And I am just over the moon that we're going to become one. I think that becoming one is a vision which becomes apparent to all and then becomes a reality or will become a reality. As a result of the process that we have gone through and becoming one is really who we are right now. We are becoming one and now it's up to the administration to do all of the paperwork, the legalities and all of that. But as far as I'm concerned, the becoming one is who we are, the community founded by Mary Ward. Long, long time ago, there were some groups of Loreto sisters, Loreto Fermoy, Loreto Rafano, Loreto Navan. When they came together, we were all very excited. There is a strength in unity, and we are better together than apart. So joining the IBBMs and the CJs is getting better is getting stronger, is what Mary Ward would have liked us to do. Becoming one is a, a dream come true for me. If, if it's coming, it can't come soon enough as far as I'm concerned. I, I am hoping to be alive for it. And uh, I think it's exactly what Mary Ward would have wanted, would have wished for her, for all her sisters. And uh, I believe it's, we're going the right direction for doing this. And I think it is the very best, most wonderful thing for our order, for our Mary Ward sisters. I am really excited about becoming one. When I think about it, I think about all of the opportunities we'll have to exchange culturally and spiritually and all of our lives. I see a network of nuns around the world holding the whole world together. And I think Mary Ward is alive and well, and I'm glad to be part of it. Becoming one is very meaningful to me now. At first, I did not have enough information to really understand what, what was happening, but now I'm on board. Also, I would like to mention that I had an aunt and a great aunt in the IBBM community. Um, I don't know how they would feel, but I'm happy that this is going to happen. For me, becoming one is seeing all the wonderful things the IBBM sisters have started here in our Southside community at Mary Ward Center, multiplied by thousands across the world. I think the presence in the world will be so much um, greater and more profound. And we are grateful here for all that has been shared and the Mary Ward charism continues here and our hopes is that it will continue forever throughout the world. Hi, I'm Terry. Uh, it was well over 20, probably about 25 or maybe more years ago, I made the Painted Life Retreat in Oxford. And I was just, why aren't we together? We were three branches at the time. And I remember seeing a set up of three candles and I bought it to pray and I've been praying ever since for the three branches to become one and now two are and so I'm excited that the third one we're all going to be united. I'm delighted and filled with joy 
that we are coming together as one, one community throughout the world, and especially being with the CJs who I had the opportunity to meet several years ago, and I loved every minute of it, and I thought, oh, wouldn't it be great someday if we were all one united, united community of our IBVM sisters and CJ sisters. Becoming one for me, it feels very exciting to be part of a larger group, a larger presence in the world. Um, it's very exciting, it's big news. I'm Barb Nelson. I uh, live in Illinois. Uh, in a suburb of Chicago called Carroll Stream. I came to realize, especially after attending the last general congregation, that we in the United States have gone through a merger before when we became part of the Irish um, Generalate or Loretto Generalate in 2003 and it only seemed reasonable then to go back to our roots and now it seems even more reasonable to go back to the total idea that Mary Ward had of everybody being together we won't um, have as much representation as we do because there'll be far more people and we're a rather small region. But, and yes, I will miss putting IBVM after my name, but we will finally, finally become the one institute the one community, the one congregation that Mary Ward dreamed of. And that will be a wonderful thing. And I look forward to it very much now.